us, Paul. Thanks, boys. Well, today I'm doing something very, very special. I'm fishing just out of Albany, the Kelgan River. The target species is Mulloway, but we're gonna try and catch them on stick baits. Now, seriously, that's like trying to catch a swordfish on fly off the rocks with your eyes closed. I don't even know if we're even a chance of doing this, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack. Now, last time I fished with these boys, it was epic, but I'm a bit concerned. We've only walked 50 metres from the car. Last time, six kilometres, 140 flights of stairs. But the fish, unbelievable. Massive Samsons, Jews, salmon, out of control. Today, if it works, I'll be one very happy camper. Just like a boat ladder, always descend backwards. This is the tricky bit. Oh, now I know you're all hoping that was gonna go in shape. I made it in one piece. <sighs> Ready fish. Got him on. Oh, yeah, it's right. It's a good right. one? Yeah, it's right. Well, that is amazing. We've been here for five minutes, I reckon. And I was just about to take. Oh, he's going under. Oh, just about to take the single hooks off and put trebles on. And oh. you already hooked up. It can't be a Jewy, can it? Yeah, yeah, it's a muller. Oh, it is. Yeah, here true. we go. It's a mulloway on a lure in the middle of the day. Look at that. Now, the next you want me question. To land it for you, Aaron, down here? Yep. I don't see a net. What no, we so we're gonna have to lead to this fish. We were so confident <laughs> that we didn't even bring a net because it was just never gonna happen. There he is. Oh, look at those spots down the flank of that fish. Are you That's right, a Chris? Good sized fish, Aaron. You right? Yep, I'm all good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he's got it. He's got a good. Yeah. He's hooked that good. He's trying. That is wrong. <laughs> I've just seen <laughs> something I never thought I'd see in my life: a mulloway on a stick bait. In the middle of the day, oh. I'm gonna go buy a Tassado <laughs> ticket right now because this just does not happen. <laughs> Chris, seeing your wet, you may as well release it. Awesome, let's get this fish back. There you go, buddy. Off you go. really interesting sort of fishing because you're targeting exactly the same water every cast. You can stand here for four or five hours, just cast, cast, cast. But what the boys are telling me, the fish actually move up the system with the tide. And as we get down towards the low, they come on big time and they'll just be passing through. So it can get a bit boring at times. You can start daydreaming, but you must always be thinking about what your lure is doing and be ready for that hit because it's pretty aggressive, but you're still gonna set those hooks. Oh yeah, that's good fish. Oh, point the rod tip as far this way as you can. That's all you can do. We were talking about this being- Oh, he's gone for under there. Oh. Perseverance. And literally how many casts have we put in now, boys? Between oh, us. A couple of hundred. A couple yeah, of hundred. At least. Yeah. And we said we're due. We knew we were due because eventually if you just keep doing things, it's gonna happen. So tell me, Aaron, how'd you oh, find this spot? This is a big river. Yes. How'd you find this spot here? We, um, we used to kayak it every weekend. Yep. And just something about this stretch along here. Oh, oh that's a big oh, fish. fish. Got the head out. So you'd literally kayak up and down, what, towing lures? Yeah, towing lures. And it's just something about this area is where the, the most fish were. Look at him on the surface shaking his head. There he is. I wonder if he's got that lure right down his gob and he's trying oh, to throw it. I hope so. Oh, look at the bow wave this thing's throwing up. That is just beautiful. Oh, get down just, there. Mate, I'll be putting it. the rod tip right over this way. Yeah. Just, that's it. That's it. Just hold it. And you should turn his head. I learned that when I was fishing in Florida. Hooked a big tarp on. He said, as long as you get the rod tip the opposite way, that fish will coat. And Sarah's coming this way now? Yeah, yeah. Just keep it nice and low until that's it. What's going on there? I can see dorsal fin sticking up. That's a big fish. That's a good, oh, that's a that is a fish. good fish. That is a beautiful mulloway on a hard body lure. That's a good fish, mate. <laughs> that's a cracker, Aaron. Look at that. It looks like a barramundi. Look at that. It looks like a barramundi. That's amazing. That is so beautiful. Oh, yes. He hang goes, on, Chris, he goes. Hang on. Oh, that, that is, is that is a good fish for this river. That's ridiculously good fish for anywhere in the oh, world, mate. Yes. Forget this He's river. He's good, yeah. Anywhere in the world. Oh, oh, stop it. 
that. Stop Look at it. That. <laughs> that is magic. That is wrong oh. on every single level. Now, if you want to know exactly where this place is, because I know you're going to want to know, go to Google Maps, type in wrong town, and you will find the place where you catch mulloway on hard body lures in the middle of the day. It must be near 30 degrees. These two guys, seriously, <laughs> I just want to touch them. I hope that some of it rubs off on me because they are wrong. Mulloway, unbelievable. Mm. Unique fish because they'll go right up an estuary system in a metre of water into fresh, and you'll also find them in 200 metres of water on a deep reef. That's why they're just so unique. You still got those little spots down the, down the side there along that lateral line. And in the head, it actually has a jewel. And you can get it out, it's the odorless bone in the ear, and it looks like a little jewel. A lot of people put them on their necklace. And the reason they're called a Jew fish, they believe is because of that jewel, they just lost the EL and got a Jew. Mate, that is so amazing. I am blessed to be standing here doing this with these boys. These are such amazing fish. Swim him for a bit, just to make sure that he's gonna go back and he's gonna be nice and healthy. Do our best to look after these fish because this is such a unique fishery and we wanna be able to do this for a long time to come. Off he goes. That is such a powerful fish. So good to see it go back so healthy. I don't know whether that was dragging over a mullet or whether it was actually something having a go. It didn't feel like a bite, it just felt like, yep, oh. there we go. Well done. Oh yes, oh. yeah. That's so, not a bad fish. So this is the same oh, fish moving. that you felt the bump with? Uh, it could be. It was the same cast. So same cast, so what, tell I us what happened. need to get over that way. I'm coming, Sorry, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Sticks. Tell us what happened, mate. I had a bump, he came up and had, it felt really weird, like the line was just dragging over something. Yep. And uh, I kept twitching it, and this fish just came back and had a good go at it this time. Oh, he's yep. only just hooked underneath there. Oh, this is awkward with the tree there. How's the light? You boys said this should get real good soon. Yeah. He's coming right through the tree, eh? Yep, I'll just try and drag him around if I can. No, 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 no. It's over it, that it's way. over it. That's bad. Mate, you better off bring him through this way, mate. Yeah, yep. the other way. Bring him straight through this so gap. I couldn't see my line there. You're all right, you're doing well. Just drag him, look him straight over, straight over. Keep going. He's hooked in the yeah, side. Yeah, he's yep. hooked in the side, you got him. You got him. Slide your rod tip this way, mate. Yep. Just bring your rod tip over towards me. Yep, we'll have to lead yeah, this yep, one up. Yeah, we can up. do that, just bring that. That's it. All right, it's got to be the fish that bumped your lure. It has and to be. He's just swam past it. That is ridiculous. <laughs> now, you called it. I'll just try and pin him. Just watch it. Watch, it. Watch, it. watch your hand. 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 Here we go. He doesn't like that. I just don't want to. Don't want to. If I can grab him like that. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just hold that line for me. Yep. Right. That's better. Mate, that is crazy. I reckon this fish has come through. He's had a swipe. And then you just work, 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 and bang. And mate, you said I'm gonna go back to a dark colored lure. What was your thought process there? The light started fading, so I've always thought darker lures in low light yep. um, create a better silhouette, and it certainly worked. Just a quick lure change, and we've ended up with another nice Mulloway. Fish. One of the unique things about these Mulloway, doesn't matter if they're two pound or 102 pound, they've got exactly the same shape. You know how some fish, when they're small, just look different? Yep. These things look identical, and the Aboriginal meaning for Mulloway is the great one. Do you reckon they got it right? Certainly did. These are amazing fish. They are. The Mulloway certainly is the great one. Well, you probably can't tell, but we're one man down. I've lost a producer. He's on his way to the hospital, the emergency department, because he just got a nasty treble hook in his finger. Rest in peace, Tom. Rest in peace. Yep, that's oh, a fish. Yep. That's a fish. How good is that? Now, little Mulloway. We were supposed to have gone home. <laughs> but my camera has a big mouth sometimes. Says, hey Paul, if you catch one on this cast, I'll buy your dinner. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe it. I think Ooh. I've got a Mulloway. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Here, mate. That is one of the greatest fish I've ever caught. Mate, if you can swing him up for me, you're a champion. I'll just grab him like this and I'll swap that there. Oh, Look awesome. at that. Oh, I persisted. I never gave up. And I just caught a Mulloway on a gold Rapala x wrap And the best news, I'm not buying dinner. <laughs> oh, Spurlo, your big mouth got you in trouble again.